some of your favorite bands growing up are those that push boundaries. And this next band is no different, except they're doing it with beer. It's one of Pat's favorites, it's one of mine too. This band is Band of Bohemia. Yeah, you have to use the side door. Michael. Elliot. Cheers. Every time I say cheers, you have to drink. So let's give the backstory of Band of Bohemia. It's a brew pub, but it wasn't typical. A place that was a restaurant that makes its own beer. I think the moment you walk in the door, you can tell it's different. It kind of is a mix between, it looks like it could be a brewery, the high ceilings and the, the hardware sticking out. I actually really like the decor in here because it reminds me of my parents' house. I want to be adopted by your <laughs> parents. <laughs> Motor Fire, Dill Alaska, Honey Cake. You are the only Michelin rated brew pub, for want of a better word, in the entire known universe. Correct. It's, 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 it's the truth. First Michelin star brew pub. The band really does some of the most unique flavors. You recognize the dishes on the menu. They're things that you know and love, but when it comes, it's more of an elevated version of that. Your course, Monkfish, that's all soigné. What should we make while we're here at Band of Bohemia? I'm um, kind of thinking about the other uh, pork cheeks. Cheers to that. Awesome, cheers. I told you. Does Michael let you drink beer on office time? Uh, no. <laughs> Try to keep it professional. <laughs> I guess I just cheers with you guys. Cheers. So what should we do? First, just lay them all out on the rack. Okay. I liberally season it. Hold this, hold this, hold oh. that for me. Oh, cheers. There you go. Uh, Come on, have some. Stand behind me, stand, just stand behind me, stand behind me. Me and Sue getting cheeky. <laughs> you could use this awesome tweezer, that's all yours. Uh, wow, you know what? I'm flipping pork cheeks with the same type of tongs my wife does her eyebrows with. Stand still. You got a stray beard hair. Oh God. That's some meaty goodness going on right there, Sue. We're gonna toss our uh, aromatics. A little chicken stock for you <laughs> and some beer for me. Being a Michelin star chef is pretty hard work. I need a drink. It's been fun, my friend. You take care of that beard without me. I will try. And you know what? You tell Michael, you can drink in the kitchen because you've earned it. Oh, uh, thank you. First off, Michael, it's been a long time since I've seen you, so. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. I mean are you, are you guys still playing the game at home? I hope so. Yeah. Sue needs to come and, and dress me in the mornings because <laughs> this plate is better put together than I am on my best day leaving the house. That warmth and comfort to it. Meat and potatoes, yeah. And then you add the beets to it, it kind of helps cut through that a little bit. And then the beer that pairs with it too. Not bad. I would say that we're Chicago's best brew pub, mainly because we look at making beer in a different way. We don't necessarily try to uh, make a beer that's immediately sellable. We make one that goes with food to complete that marriage of a beverage and food. It is the composition and the collaboration between these two amazing things. Can I write that one down? Composition and oh, collaboration, I like that. We'll talk about <laughs> licensing. But for now, last time for the game, Cheers. Cheers. I want to be in this band.